Ronald. How are you, Ronald? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm great. Good. And you? I'm doing okay too. Thanks. How was your day? Well, a little bit busy. Okay. But it was nice. All right. Good, good. So you're working every day now? Yeah, I went to my office today. All week. Okay. And where is the office again? Uh, do you know Galerias? Yeah. Uh, two blocks. Uh, it's near for Galerias. All right. Good. good. In, in front of, of uh, Pollo Real. Pollo Real. Pollo Real. In the back part, I think, of Galerias? Yeah. All right. In the, in the first street. Yeah, on First Street. Yes, 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 I remember. Okay, yeah. good, good. All right, nice. Okay, Araceli and Maria. All right, so what is today's date, class? Hello, Hello Araceli. How are you? How are you, Araceli? Araceli have a big problem with the connection. Yeah. Yes. Hello, teacher. Hello, Araceli. How was your day? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, Jeff. Okay, very good. Welcome back, Araceli. Hear you. Hello. All right. Thank you. Hello. Okay. Hello. Maria, how was your day? Hi, teacher. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, so what is today's date, class? What's today's Today date? Is, uh, Thursday. Today is Thursday, yes. Thursday. Which 27th. month? Seventh. The date is 27th, yes. And the month is? August. Yes, 2020. So mm -hmm. August is, is gone. <laughs> Four more days and, and August is completely history. Yes. yes. Okay, so welcome back. It's August 27, 2020. Um, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? We made a review using superlatives. Good, yes, we had a review using superlatives. Remember, we have short adjectives, we have long adjectives. If you're using short adjectives, uh, you're supposed to make superlatives by adding EST, the smallest, the fastest, the slowest. If you're using long adjectives, which I refer to uh, with two syllables or more, uh, you use the most, the most expensive, uh, the most exciting, the most dangerous, the most beautiful. So you name it. Okay. Um, what else did we do? What else? Do you remember? We, we talk about strategies in order to avoid over overstand, overstaffing and understaffing. Exactly. So what is the meaning of the word overstaffing? 
Overstaffing means exceso de personal. Okay, and understaffing? Is the opposite. It's Tener... the opposite. Mm -hmm. So you uh, overstaffing, you have more people than what you really need. The opposite is uh, when you have fewer people than what you really need. Yes. Okay, so we were using superlative of adjectives. We were discussing strategies on how to avoid overstuffing and understuffing. Um, anything else about yesterday? No. Okay, so uh, let us begin. Uh, today we have a topic that uh, needs everybody's attention, but I only see eight people present. So I'm going to switch the activities. Um, let me share this here. All right, right here. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes. Okay. Uh, what are the questions about? The what is of earthquake? Yes. Okay, so it's going to be a discussion about earthquake. <laughs> Uh, I will do this, so I will give extra times or extra minutes for the ones that are not here yet. So I will assign you to work in pairs and ask and answer these questions. So... I sent you the image to the WhatsApp chat. If you want to take a screenshot from here, go ahead and do it. So let me break out rooms. Three. All right, here we go. calculaba que, que llegaba para la primera y... Thank you.
in number one. Okay, what do you hear, uh, think uh, when you hear the, the, the word earthquake? In my case, the steps that I can follow if I... For... In your case, Fernando? In, in my case... The first question. The first question. The first question. What come to me when you have? In my case. In my case, fears. <laughs> maybe, maybe people, people run. Yes. For for all the for all the people, uh, it's very dangerous. In, in 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 the country. Okay. La pregunta um, es que que qué pienso cuando o, o qué es qué se te viene a la mente cuando escuchas la palabra terremoto. Ah, okay. Okay. And the second question is. Have you ever experienced an, an earthquake or tremor? Tremor. Tremor. Yes. Is the means temblor. Temblor, exactly. Uh, when I, I remember the, the earthquake in the years 2011, I, I thought. 2011? 2011. Or 2001? No. 2001. 2001, 2001, I, I don't remember. 2001, yeah. I, I was a, a young, I was a young and I, I was in, in the grandmother house and no, I I feel I felt uh, scared, or or the other my my parents my grandmother. Uh, no, thank you, easy. No, don't worry. Uh, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, in in that moment, I I don't know what happened. What happened? Were you in uh, Santana, oh, Christian? In, in Santana, yes. Okay. I I wasn't. I I live. In Santa Ana. Okay. And only that I, I remember. All right. Okay. In my stay calm. But then when it happens, I start to to feel like so nervous, nervous, nervous. And mm -hmm. I try to look for the for the, the door or, or the emergency exit. Um. Hello, Tish. Hi. And um. <laughs> and I tried to do that. Go in the colina. It was when the derrumbe in Santa Tecla. In the colonia of the colina. Ajá, murió muchísima gente. Y mi hija quedó atrapada allí, pero ella no sufrió. Ella se salió bien. So your daughter pero was in the colina. So your daughter. En number two, teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, I was in my work, and my daughter was on her way, and was raped in the hill. She went well. Okay. So nothing happened to your daughter? Yes. Nothing happened to your daughter? Um, sorry, I don't understand. Nothing happened to your daughter. Nada le pasó a su hija. No, gracias a Dios, no. Okay, very good. Goodness. All right. Yes? Scariest is the superlative. The, the means miedo. What is the question? 
Question number number number, number three. three. Question number three. Do you Carrier. think an earthquake is the war? Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Que si es el desastre natural que causa más miedo, correcto. Ah, en el mundo. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh, depends, depends where, where do you live? Because okay. I think, I think that Asia Continental Asia? Asia. A Asia? Yeah, Asia. Asia Continental. Asia Continental uh, has, uh, has scarier than uh, tsunamis. Okay. And no earthquake. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Depending on the magnitude of the the earthquake teacher yes, yes yes true how do you say teacher eh, enjambre sísmico uh tremor the tremor spree tremor spree a spree yeah spree tremor S spree yeah s p r e e ah, okay uh -huh. Or you can also say tremor chain, una cadena de tremor chain. Yeah, I I remember two years ago, maybe in El Salvador lives a uh, tremor, a uh, tremor, tremor spree. Yes, right. Two years ago, I don't remember very well. Yes, yeah. You know, El Salvador is in an area where. Uh, any earthquake can happen at any time. Yeah, our yes. location is not uh, good. <laughs> yep. Yeah. How do you say se tiro? How do you say teacher se tiro de la segunda planta? <laughs> uh, throw is present. Through uh -huh. is in pass. So he threw himself from the second floor. Okay. She threw himself floor. from the second floor. Okay, from the second from floor. From the second floor, yes. And she broke both legs. Really? Yes, teacher. And who is this person? My little sister. Oh. Uh, okay. In, in the in the air, earthquake. In 2001. 2001. Uh -huh. and, and where were you guys? Were you in San Salvador? In San Salvador, in San Jacinto. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Are you yeah, from I San Jacinto? Yes. Okay. Ronald? I, I was in the university. I think it was a Saturday. Yeah. yeah. I think it was a Saturday. It was Saturday. Right, like 11, 11 something in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was pretty strong. Very, very strong. Yes. Very strong. People were scared. Yep. Yeah. Can you can the information. Exactly. Number four. What should yes. you do? What should you do? The second and earthquake hits. Run away. <laughs> run away. <laughs> keep, keep calm and then walk. No, you're the... scared. <laughs> <laughs> you scream. <laughs> no, it depends. I think it depends. If you if you be with another people, I think you have to to keep calm. But if you are alone, oh, I don't. I, I, I think it's more uh, scary. scary. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's scary. If you are Be alone. alone. Exactly. If you are uh -huh. If you are alone. Okay. Yes. In, um, how do you say, for, for instinct, natural instinct, uh, the people, and in, in my case, maybe 
uh, in that in that second is a room where where are my my son my my family and try to 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 to, pro, to protect and and the other thing i i learn in the school i learn in the uh, in the in my job where i have buscar un mantener la calma sí va eso sí okay mantener la calma how do you say mantener la calma in english keep keep calm keep calm keep okay calm. yeah keep calm keep calm okay. yes keep calm which keep which calm. number are you discussing right now what which number are you discussing right now what number are you doing in this moment my my mantener la calma no Araceli? I I think I think in this moment in my daughter and my son. Yes. You think about the people that you love. Yes. Yeah, it's natural to, to have that reaction. Yes. Okay. So you guys are room three. So let me visit room four and room five. <laughs> the idiom was is uh, in la in las cuentas cuentas claras amistades largas. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thanks, and you? Okay, good, I'm doing okay. I'm sorry if I don't have my camera on, but I'm I'm eating. I don't know if you can see my food. French fries. No, it's, it's chunks with, with French fries. Oh, uh, bu buffalo wings? No, from Capero. Oh, Campero is good too. Yes, they have a promotion that if you pay uh, 13 bucks, they give you 30, 30 chunks or 30, 30 wings. Oh, and, and do they give you something additional like French fries or drinks? No, they only give you an extra sausage. Okay, good. Yeah, chunks and wings are, are good. Well, well, are very delicious. I really enjoy it. it yeah. is. It's yes, cool. yes, I enjoy it too. You, always, you, you have ever uh, went to, to Buffalo Wings in Marte de Aleros? No, I, I have gone usually Fridays or Saturdays. Because when it's Friday, the body knows. Exactly. <laughs> and you have to listen to your body. Okay. That is good. And Martes de Aleros, what do you what do you do? Is there anything special there? They give you five beers for for two dollars. Really? Yes. Oh my goodness. That's that's really good. If you enjoy to drink one or, or two beers, uh -huh. it's, a, it's a good promotion. Uh, if you don't really enjoy drinking the alcohol, it, it could be a, a bad from promotion for you. Right, right. Yeah, but five beers for $2, that's a, a good deal. That's a good bargain. Yes. So I always try to, to get to... To went to the Marte de Leros. <laughs> okay, now if you go, let's say, with three friends, it's four people on the table. Can does everybody have access to that special? Yes, it's, if they pay uh, eleven dollars uh, with plus of the of the how do you say it? propina tips tips with the tips, 
uh, you you can uh, get access to to the promotion. It it doesn't matter or if don't don't have a problem if you are four, three, two, one, five. Okay, but they put conditions first. The only condition is that you can share. Okay. But uh, if the, the waiters don't see you, uh, you can share a beer. If, if uh, someone doesn't want to pay the $2 for the beers. Right, right. Yeah, it, it's still a good, uh, 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 a good deal. With my group of friends, uh, mm -hmm. we always uh, do that. We pay two promotions, and the other two people only share the, 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 the beers. Okay. Now, which branch do you usually visit when you go to Martes de Aleros? I visit uh, one of the, the Plaza Futura, but it's not what because it's my, my favorite, because it's, it's, it's far from my home. So I, we went there because uh, all my friends uh, work or, or study near to the, to that. Right, Futura, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Buffalo Wings is, uh, is they have good food. Uh, do you like spicy food? Mm. Oh my mm -hmm. God, I really enjoy the, the spicy food. If you have ever visit uh, Santa Ana, mm -hmm. they sell a, a, a special sauce a uh, spicy sauce, uh, it's called a uh, trompa de chucho. Oh yeah, oh, I have it in my house. You have it? Oh my yeah. God, I really love that sauce. Yes. And my group of friends always uh, challenge each other of being who, who can eat more sauce of that. My respect to trompa de chucho, you know, that is the only hot sauce that I have limits with that I have to be careful when I'm using it in, in, in my food. You can you can't fall of respect of trompa de chucho. Yeah it, it's really hot. It's really hot. Yes. Okay. So let me visit another room um somewhere. Else. Okay bye teacher. All right. All right you guys finished? No teacher. Not yet. No yet. No all yet. right. All right. All right. Let's see this here. Da -da -da. I born here. No <laughs> option. It's, it's, it's our experience <laughs> living in El Salvador mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. a lot of earthquakes. I don't have an option. I can't move to another country. <laughs> exactly. I think that, that people feel an uh, earthquake in El Salvador. Uh, the people don't 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 make anything. Maybe put a poker face in. It's still working. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Colombian people uh, say, it. "I don't scary. I." I don't, I don't experience an earthquake, it, never in my life. I have a, a boss, he's Colombian, okay. and, and he said, and he say, uh, don't talking about earthquake, I, I don't experience an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, if, if, if people are not experienced with earthquakes, you know, that can be impacting for them for, for example the last year i went to cuba and i was talking uh, with some friends and, and people told me about that people in cuba uh, never have fallen an earthquake so it's incre incredible right right yes uh, People in Cuba, they, they usually suffer like tornadoes, hurricanes, Hurricane. but not, yeah. not, not earthquakes. True. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, next question. <laughs> what do you think when you see news reports of earthquakes? What do you think? Um, 
I feel sad because I know how how to the aircraft um destroy yeah, destroyed. Uh -huh. Destroyed. Yeah, destroyed. And when it happened, families uh member or lose uh their house. So it's hard. Right. Yes, I think <laughs> the same like you, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a silent video. That you do for for hell. Yes. Oh. Oh, see, see, I'm um, not be able to do anything. It's very difficult. It's very yeah. difficult. Yeah. Okay, number nine. What? Do, why do earthquake happen? <clears throat> ¿Por qué pasan los terremotos? Yes. <clears throat> For the 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 movement of the move the yes. tectonic. The, I, I don't know. They are natural disaster. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. In English, you call them layers, capas. Ah, layers. Layers. Ah. Yes. The, the tectonic the, layers. Yeah, the tectonic layers, the layers of the, the earth, they move. Exactly. Mm. For, okay. for tectonic for layers. That, for that is that that move that that move is the earthquakes. Yeah, they provoke the earthquakes. They air provoke books. the earthquakes. Yes. Okay, e, the okay. last one is what is the difference between a magnitude six and seven earthquake? What is the difference? Is uno is Temblor, otro es terremoto, pero how do you say in English? Uh, both both are earthquake, but the difference is um, the potential, the, the la potencia. I don't yeah, know. yeah, the, the impact that it has. The impact. Okay. Yes. So tremor means temblor. Temblor. Tem yeah, and tremor. the effects are are obviously more more serious yes mm -hmm. okay so let's go back to the main session okay okay all right welcome back okay um any questions or comments about earthquakes? Turn your mic up. Hello, Sandy. No, turn it off. Any questions or comments about earthquakes? The last question, teacher. The okay. difference. Okay. Uh, let me see the last question. Give me a second. Oh, the difference between, uh, okay, where were these questions? I lost them. What's the difference between a magnitude six and seven earthquake? I think seven is an earthquake and six is a tremor. Okay. I think that the difference is the power of the, or the intensity of the earthquake. When it is, is seven, is 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 have a lot uh, a larger intensity than a six one. Okay, good. Someone else has another opinion. So obviously, when the when the magnitude is seven, the results, the consequences are more serious. Um, so if if the magnitude is six. You could still say it's a tremor because it doesn't, uh, what do you call it, provoke any destruction or, or damages. 
with a seven, it's very possible that you will have debts and, 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 and it will destroy things. Any other questions or comments? No? All right, so let me, um, okay, now we go with today's topic. Um, how do you say usted debería ir al hospital? You should went to the hospital. One more time, please. You should go to the hospital. Okay, you should go to the hospital. So what is the function of should in that case? We you should to like give if recommendations? You say, if you say it in the Spanish is for example, if a person get an accident, you uh, in the Spanish you say deberías. Uh, so in English you use should. So the, the, the meaning of should, is, it could be in these sentences, debería de ir al hospital. Right. So the function is to give recommendations or to give advice. Very good. <laughs> Now, how do you say, él puede hablar tres idiomas? She can, uh, she, I don't know. Sorry. He can speak three languages. Very good. Three languages. He can speak three languages, she can speak three languages. So when we use can, we're talking about abilities, right? So right. he can play basketball, he can play chess, he can play checkers, he can speak five languages, abilities. Now, how do you say, podría llover hoy? What is the question? Podría llover hoy. It could rain today. It could rain today. It could rain today. So could is the model that we use to express possibilities. Possibilities. Right? Yes. Okay. It's like okay. might, but might is, is used for recommendation. Uh, might, yes, it could be used for recommendations, but also it's used as a possibility. So it might okay. rain today. Okay. So, uh, What is the model that we use when we are a hundred percent sure about something? How do you say enfermera in English? Nurse. 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 Okay. nurse. You see a woman with the uniform of a nurse. You are very sure that this person works in a clinic or in a hospital. So how do you say ella debe trabajar en un hospital? She must work She in must a hospital. Work. Exactly. Right. Very good. So as you can see, every model has a different function. Let me see this here. Okay, can you see the document? Yes. yes. All right. So look here. So models, the ones we have here, they have a specific function. So here we have the name of the model and on the right side, we have the function of it. So we may go to McDonald's today we could go to McDonald's today. We might go to McDonald's today. The three options, they express possibility. Teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I don't know the, the meaning, the meaning of, of May, but because uh, in the movies or in the series, TV series, uh -huh. you, only, you only hear maybe. Or, okay. Uh, but uh, you may cool, Is you 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 use you make cool. So in that in this case, what is the meaning of you make cool? No, uh, may is one thing, could is different, and might is different. 
So when you, when, going back to your example, when you say maybe, maybe it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. So the, the three options that we have here, they express possibility. Ah, okay, may, cool, and might. Yes, the difference is, the difference is, the one that is uh, more possible is good. Could is more possible than may. And may it's like when you, if you have a, a 80% of, of, of security. Yes, exactly. So could is more possible. Number two, we have may. And last one, we have might. Okay, thanks. So the three options, they express possibility. Okay, thanks. All right. Now, must expresses an obligation or when you are 100% sure about something. And this is why I gave you the example of the nurse. You see a woman with a white uniform, you are 100% sure that she works in a hospital or in a clinic. So you say, she must work in a hospital. Ella debe trabajar en un, en un hospital. You, you, do you see the example? Do you understand the example? Yes. 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 Okay. Or, or let's say um, <clears throat> you're driving your car and there is a red light. In the red light next to you, there is a BMW convertible 2021. So you say to yourself, he must have money. He must have money. How do you say that one in Spanish? El debe de tener dinero. Right. That is your assumption. But maybe the person driving, it's only the driver. Maybe it's the mechanic. Maybe it's not the owner. But since the person is driving a BMW, very nice, convertible, 2021, you are very sure that this person has money. Yes. Now, should... Should is what we use to give recommendations. Recommendation. All right, mm -hmm. open them. How do you say deberías de despertarte más temprano? You should wake up more earlier. You should wake up earlier. Earlier. Yes, yes. I, I, I use what more. Sorry. Okay. Very good. No problem. You should wake up earlier. That is a recommendation. Imagine that I say, look, I have a headache. What is your recommendation? You should take aspirin. You should go to bed. You should lay down on a sofa. Would is hypothetical. How do you say te diría? How do you say uh -huh. te diría in English? I would tell you, I would. but it's confidential. How do you say, te ayudaría, pero no tengo tiempo? I will help you, but I don't have time. Exactly. I would help you, but I don't have time. I would give you a ride, but I'm going to a different place. I'm going to a different city. So you use would? when you're talking about hypothetical situations. And then can, you use can to talk about the abilities that a person has. So this is only a review. This is not today's topic. Today's topic is using this in the past form. But before I give you the explanation of models in past, I want you to have a clear idea of how this, uh, works. Uh, any questions or comments so far? For the moment, no. no, teacher. Okay. Let me send you this picture. Now, this topic, it's not only for this class. It's for the rest of your lives. Thank so, you, I will assign you again to work in pairs. And you will paraphrase this information here. If, if, if you can explain this to someone else, then we're doing okay. So 
move to room six, move to room six, move to room seven, move to room seven. And exchange with him, exchange with him, exchange with him. And she will exchange with her. All right, so let me see this here. Da da da. Ronald. Okay. Room four. Six and that should be it. All right, I will assign her here and she will go to room seven. Okay, so please try to explain. Uh, the chart here. Let's go. All right, so what do you guys understand from the chart? Do you have any questions about the chart? I think that you put the function of every, of that model. Exactly. I think is very, for me, it's very clearly to understand. Okay. But I think is more, more difficult when we do a, a, a sentence. Okay. So, but uh, what you're saying is good because you said, okay, uh, the paper is clear. I understand mm -hmm. the, the explanation. So when you understand the explanation and the function, using it is, is more accessible. It's easier because mm -hmm. you understand. So I think uh, like in your case, it's just a matter of practicing. So you said, I understand, should is for mm -hmm. suggestion, must when you're a hundred percent sure. So it's about practicing. Josue Edgardo, what is your opinion? Um, like Jimena, because um, when you uh, prepare, a sentence uh -huh. uh, is most is in in a context and it's better yes so remember that everything you do in english practice makes perfect so mm -hmm. when you practice more you improve you improve mm -hmm. so if you understand the the explanation the the examples and everything then the practice should be uh, the complement to understand better. 
Got it? Yes, teacher. Got it. All right. Okay. Because you are the most dramatic <laughs> in the world. Sorry for, for have feelings. Sorry for have feelings. Hi, <laughs> Samuel. <laughs> okay. <It's> normal. <laughs> it's an special case. I yeah. don't have it, but, but I'm human and I have it. Sorry. <laughs> You could go with us to the beach, for example. That could be a possibility. Right. Okay. And when you use must. In, in the case, very easy. Must is, is a obligation or when, when I, when I have 100% I assure for for anything. Can, can you give us uh, an example? Okay. If it's correct, I say I could go to the church this Monday. One more time, Araceli. Uh, I could go to the church uh, this Monday. Good. That's Correct. a very good example. That's a good example. Okay. Nice. Now, when you're saying, I could go to church this coming Monday, it's a possibility because maybe okay. you have to work, but the doors are open so you can go. Yes. Okay. Your sentence is good, uh, Araceli. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> what's the conversation here? Uh huh. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened, Luis? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> uh, what is the difference? Necesidades in English, chicos. Your needs? Uh -huh, your needs. Hi, teacher. Someone had a question? Someone asked something? Yes. Uh huh. What was the question? Sofia. Oh, Sofia. Uh, hi, my connection is unstable. Why? You, oh, your connection. Yes, my connection, because <laughs> I, I can see very well. Yes, I have the message here that says Sophia's network is low. Yes. Did you have a question, um, Sophia? Yes, with must and have to. Okay. Uh, must is more serious than have to. For example, you said, um, I have to prepare an exam today, but I will do it tomorrow. Now, if I say, I must prepare an exam today, today is the only option that I have. So the two options express um, that something is necessary, but must is more serious than have to. Got it, Sophia? Yes, thank you. All right, good. No, sé. Este... Which, which one are you discussing now? Uh, in this moment, must. Okay. What is, the, fun what, what is the function of must? When do you use it? We use it when we are 100% sure. Okay, or when yeah. something is mandatory. Obligation. It's, exactly. Or mm. it's obligation. Like we must do uh, the activities to the platform. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's I, a very, 
That's a good example. <laughs> I mm -hmm. must study more English, teacher. We are... <laughs> okay. I must <laughs> study more English. Okay. Yes. Oh, or, no. or when you go to the hospital, the doctor tells you, you must take your medicine. You, you must, must follow the instructions. Oh. Or when you when you come late, wait, cuando llegas tarde. Uh -huh, when you arrive late. When you arrive late uh, and your, your, your chief, your, uh -huh. jefe, your, your, your boss. Your boss tell you you must to <laughs> come. You must wake up early. earlier. <laughs> you must yeah. be more responsible. Yes. Uh -huh. like yeah, so <laughs> must is, you use must when something is mandatory. It's not optional. Mm -hmm. It's so, optional. for example, you said, oh, tomorrow I have a, a final exam. Mm -hmm. I must study tonight. Must study so, tonight. it's not optional. It's the only option that you have to obtain to good pass. results in the exam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And pass the exam. Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. yes. The teacher, uh, I have a question about rule, but it's refer to how to write or how no, is would, the grammar. Would, would is would? would makes the verb into something hypothetical. Comería, te diría, iría, vendría. That's why we mm -hmm. call it and we classify it as something hypothetical. When I mm -hmm. say yo iría, pero no tengo tiempo. Iría es hipotético. Mm -hmm. Diría, pero es confidencial. Diría es hipotético, no te voy a decir. Or you mm -hmm. say, te acompañaría, pero está muy lejos. So no lo va a acompañar. So mm -hmm. would, would makes the verb into a hypothetical situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Apoyo moral. Yep, so that, that's, that's the function of would. <laughs> Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. Um, I have another question, Ask but me. is but is um uh, it's not referred to wool. It's like will be me. better. Okay. Uh, when I when I do the activity in the platform, uh -huh. I think I write I write to the correct form. Okay. But but. It's the answer denied. is wrong. Uh, okay, have, is wrong. Have, have you checked the spelling? Because sometimes, yes. um, how do you say letras mayúsculas in English? Uh, mayúsculas. Okay, let me. Mayúsculas. No, you say. No. Um, Chief. Capital letter. Capital letter. Oh, capital letter. Capital letter. So when you are doing the exercises in the platform, if it's mm -hmm. a question, a sentence, or a negative, the first letter is always capital. That's number mm -hmm. one. When you finish a sentence, what do you do when you finish a sentence? A point. You use a period. With a point. Period. Point. Period. Period. Yes, period. you use a period. So sometimes the mistake is in punctuation. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that that's your case. Mm -hmm. And if, if you change, if you double check the punctuation and you still receive the answer mm -hmm. as wrong, then you tell me. And then I okay. can report your case to, uh, to the administration so they can verify. Okay. Uh, maybe I, can, I am confused. So it, 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 uh, it's a possibility. Okay. If my answer is wrong. Right. It, 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 mm -hmm. But like I said, if you are very sure that your answer is good, try mm -hmm. changing the punctuation. If okay. you still receive the answer as wrong, then you tell me, you send me a picture, and then I report to, uh, to the administration. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or comments? No. No, no teacher. All right. All right.
I can hear you, teacher. You are in mute. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm looking for the list so I can take attendance. Okay, here it is. So when you hear your name, please say present or here. So, uh, Sofia Stephanie? Present. Good. Uh, Fernando Arturo? Present. Good. Coralia? Present. Good. Ronald Humberto? Ronald? Present. Good. Present. Present. Uh, Marcela? Marcela, Marcela. Present. Okay, very good. Jimmy Rodriguez. Present. Okay. Uh, Christian Alexander. Present. Good. Josue Edgardo. Here. Good. Jimena Alexandra. Present. Good. Samuel Rosales. Present. Good. Rocio. Oh, Rocio, she wrote. Okay. Mercy Carolina. Mm -hmm. Okay. Araceli. Present. Good. Maria del Carmen. Present, teacher. Okay. Helen Lopez. Here. <coughs> Good. Luis Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Here teacher. Good. Christian Omar. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy. I haven't seen Wendy. Okay, and Magdalena. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, um, any questions or comments about models, about their function in general? Let me, let me see this document here. Okay, um, can you see the document? Yes. Yes. Okay, are there any questions? No? I, I only have a problem with, with wool. Okay, what exactly is the problem with wool? I don't, I don't finish to understand the, the, the okay. function. Wool. Okay, how do you say, yo iría, pero no tengo dinero? Uh, I will went. I would go. I will. I will I go, but I don't have money. I will go, but I don't have money. Okay, how do you say, lo compraría, pero mejor voy a esperar? I will buy it, but I will wait. Okay, so, iría, compraría, cocinaría, me quedaría, iría. That right there is hypothetical. Okay. So, what, what is the function of wood? Would makes the verb into a hypothetical situation. It's like something that it could happen, but you don't have the a hundred percent of 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 of, of certainty. <laughs> okay, of certainty. it's 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 something that could happen, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> okay. Yo iría, pero va a llover. Are you going? No, it's hypothetical. Te diría, pero es un secreto. Am I going to tell you? No. So would, like I said, the function is to make the verb into a hypothetical uh, condition. I will tell you, but it's, it's a secret. Exactly. Ah, okay, okay. Te diría, pero es un secreto. Le voy a decir, no. It's hypothetical. Okay, thanks. Okay. So, um... Any other questions or comments about this? This is only a review. This is only a review. Today's topic is coming next. So look here. 
what is the one we use for possibilities? Hey, cool or mine. May, good or mine. How do you say, me pudiste haber llamado? So you go like this. Call me. You could have called me. Me pudiste haber llamado. So what we're doing right now, we're using models in past. When you say, me pudiste haber llamado, that means that the person did not call. Okay. Now imagine that I see you at seven in the morning and I have a serious toothache. And then I say to yourself, hubiera ido donde el dentista ayer. Hubiera ido donde el dentista ayer. So I'm recommending something. How do you say that in English? Hubiera ido donde el dentista ayer. You should went to, to the dentist. Not really. You should, no, you should, should have gone. I should have gone to the dentist. No, okay. Porque it's a recommendation. So, I should have gone to the dentist yesterday. Debí o hubiera haber ido donde el dentista ayer. Did I go? No. So, look here. When you want to use models in the past form, this is the structure that you need to use. The personal pronoun plus the model plus have plus past participle plus the complement. So imagine a friend of yours has a, a serious car accident. The car is completely destroyed, but your friend is fine. Nothing happened to your friend. So when you see your friend, you tell her, Se pudo haber muerto. Did she die? No. So you say, uh, You she, could have died. You could have died if you're telling directly to the person. Okay, another example. What is the model that you use when you are 100% sure about something? Must. Must. So imagine, um, I'm playing basketball and I fall. Must have. And I have a very serious injury on my leg. So you say to me, debió haber dolido. How do you say that? It must be hurt. hurt. It must have hurt. It, it must, must have hurt. Why must? Because you're very sure when you see my leg, you see that the injury is very serious. So you're very sure. It says, debió haber dolido. So you're 100% sure. So you use must. Mm. Or um, you come to your house and uh, you see a lot of mess. Hay un gran desorden. So then you say to yourself, mi hermana debió haber estado muy enojada. How do you say that in English? Be angry. Have angry. She, she must be she, angry. She must have have been have been okay have been. been. So remember this. This right here, that is mandatory. That's yeah. mandatory. So when you're talking about models in the past form, this is something that you have to do. This is the only way 
that you will say things like se pudo haber matado, debió haber dolido, eh, eh, pudo haber llamado, eh, pudiste haberlo pagado. This is the only form to give those expressions in, in English. That's the only form. Do you remember your first English class in, in an academy? Yeah. Do you remember the book that you used? Books on the back part of the book, they usually have a list. They have a list of verbs, present, past, and past participle. Yes, I, don't, I remember that. Okay. How do you say beber in English? Drink. 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 What is the past tense of drink? Drink. Drunk. 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 And the past participle? Drunk. 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 Okay, drink. Drunk. Drink. Drink. Drunk. 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 How do you say, debiste haberte tomado la soda? You should have drunk the soda. You should have drunk. You should have drunk the soda. Te hubieras tomado la soda. You should have drunk. How do you say, no debí haber tomado mucho? I shouldn't. Uh, drunk a lot. I shouldn't have, have drunk. I shouldn't have drunk too much or a lot. I shouldn't. Right. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Uh, yes, Christian. Uh, in that case, in negative form, um, we we can say, for example, I I should haven't. No, I shouldn't have drunk. A lot. Ah, okay. So when, when the information is negative, the model is negative. Okay. The model is negative. Any questions there? Como, como se llama este, no sé si tendrá algún nombre, verdad? Pero uh -huh. como pequeña T, esa T que se le pone al final. Como, Should not. Contraction. Contraction. Yes. Uh, okay, okay, thanks. Shouldn't have drunk a lot. Any, any questions here? Eh, ¿Cómo sería el pasado de, de wool? Woolent. Would have. Would have. Would have. Now, would have is hypothetical. So you said, yo lo habría comprado. I would, would have, have bought it. I would have bought it. Yo lo habría comprado. Okay. So once again, the yellow part indicates the heart of past models. This is not optional. This is mandatory. How do you say enfermarse in English? Get sick. Get sick. Get sick. What is the past tense of get? Got. Got. And the past participle? Gotten. Got Got Good. How do you say te pudiste haber enfermado? You could have sick. You could have. You could have have sick. Gotten sick. Gotten sick. Gotten sick. Gotten sick. Gotten sick. Could have gotten sick. Good is the model. Have is here. And gotten is the past participle of get. Questions? Any questions, class? So before I explain this here, 
I wanted to make sure that everybody was clear with this section here. So if you understand the, the first section that I explained, then it's about analyzing how you guys would use past models. So imagine you go to a job interview and uh, you say to yourself, me pude haber rasurado, pero no tenía tiempo. Me pude haber rasurado, pero no tenía tiempo. I should get shaved. Me pude, pude haber saludado, rasurado. I could. I could have. I... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What would be the complete sentence? Shave. I could have. I could have, I could have shaved. But... Uh -huh. I, I, could have time. But, um, I could have shaved. I could have shaved, but I don't have time. I, I, I didn't. I, uh -huh. I didn't have. I didn't have time. I didn't have time. Very good. I could have shaved, but I didn't have time. How do you say me pudiste haber llamado? You could have called me. You could have called me. You could have called me. You could call me. Okay. So imagine it's 11 p.m. It's very hot in your room. And then your wife or your husband tells you, te pudiste haber bañado. How do you say that in English? You should have. A... You should. Te pudiste haber bañado. You could, have a you could have a take a shower. You could have taken a shower. You could have taken a shower. You could have taken a shower. Yes. Any questions so far? Okay. Let me send you these examples here. So you guys will speak with one another and you will explain how this works here. If you don't understand, don't worry. When I visit your room, you ask me, don't worry. Okay, so we will have, she will go to room five. He will go to room five. He will go to room six. Uh -huh. Room eight. Move to room eight. Okay. So let's. Exchange with this here, exchange with him, exchange here, exchange here, and all right. So let's do this. Please paraphrase what I, I what I explained and what your classmates were saying. Go ahead. Talking about the the structure about uh, models in past. So if you want to begin, go ahead. Explain me 
uh, the topic and after you, I explain you. Okay, I, I understood that everything depends on the context for the sentence. Uh -huh. For the example, you could see me call it in the past. You could? You could see my call it. What is that, Fernando? Well, uh -huh. eh, me pudiste ver llamado. You could have called me. You could have called me. Okay. You, you could, could have, have called, called me. me. And remember, the, the part that I colored yellow, that is the heart of the structure. So that is something that always has to be present. You could have called me. You could have bought it. You could have given me a ride. So it's mandatory to use the model plus have plus the past participle of the verb. Okay, teacher. All right. I use mm -hmm. because I I translate the the sentences in Spanish to to English, and I think it's difficult for me to know what models can I. Use. Can I use? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, are there any questions related with the function of models? No. Not really. The the problem, teacher, is imagine in in the moment. Uh, in a real conversation. In a real uh -huh. conversation. Yeah. What do you know if the other people says a possibility, recommend, recommendation, obligation? I think this this part is difficult for me. Okay, right. So maybe it's not difficult for you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just need to practice more. Because mm -hmm. you said, okay, how do I know if it's a recommendation? How do I know if it's something mandatory? How do mm -hmm. I know if it's a possibility? And that's why you guys need to practice as much as possible. So when the real conversation comes, you guys are prepared to give your, your point of view. Mm -hmm. So remember, uh, possibility, may, might, and could. Mm -hmm. Hypothetical, would. Suggestion, should. Mandatory, must. So for you to master that structure, you guys need to practice a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, so, because the, the rule is it's clear. Uh-huh. But the, in the real life, when you're speaking or with yes. other people, it's difficult to know what model right. I right and, and that's the reason why you guys are receiving classes so you guys can make the mistakes here mm -hmm. so when the real conversation comes you guys are prepared exactly yeah so so making mistakes mm -hmm. is is normal it's part of the learning process so don't worry if you make mistakes okay yes eh, debiste, debiste ir al doctor. Uh -huh. Debiste, debiste ir haber al ido. Haber, haber, ido. Debiste haber ido al, al doctor. Ajá. En en that que en that example we we follow the 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 form is she o you you is the, the Personal pronoun. You, you should. You should have. Gone. Gone. Que es es la en el past participle y plus complement. You should have gone to the doctor. Yes, you should have gone to the doctor. Okay. Yes. And 
if I I follow the 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 form is not difficult is 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 very simple. Yes, it is very simple. The only mission or the only challenge that you guys have is to understand the function of the model because the structure is easy to, to follow, to understand. So the only thing you need to do is, okay, if it's should, I'm giving recommendations. If it's must, it's because it's an obligation. If I'm using could, may, or might, it's for a possibility. If it's hypothetical, I'm using would. But the structure itself is easy to, to, to follow and understand. And we need we need to learn the the verbs in past participle. Or, exactly. Or exactly. memorize or memorize yes. practice memorize yes. the, papa, the the verbs in past, the past participle. For, yes. Yes. For Oswe? what? What is the what? What is the past participle? Oh. Uh, for example, yo voy, yo fui. Yo he ido. Ido is the past participle. In for the verb watch. Watched. Ed. Ah, watched. So, like like the past, the simple past. Exactly, because remember that in English we have regulars and we have irregulars. Now, mm -hmm. do you remember the the? How do you differentiate regulars from regulars? If it's regular, you put ED at the end. And you put <laughs> ED at the end with past participles. Play, played, played. Work, worked, worked. Same. Right, it's the same. The thing is, when you're using irregulars, the form is completely different from present, past, mm -hmm. and past participle. How do okay, you say? Then. Uh -huh, yeah, go ahead. Then the, the form of the verb is in past. The, the form of and the verb is past participle. It's mandatory. When, when you add uh, uh, have. When you add have, the form of the verb must be past participle, regular or irregular. It has to be past participle. Okay. How do you say planchar in English? Ooh. How do no, you say hierro? Iron. 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 So iron, iron means hierro and it, it's the same meaning for planchar. So how do you iron. say hubieras planchado la camisa? You should you have, have, you could have iron. iron the, the shirt. Okay, you could have ironed the shirt. Pudiste haberla planchado. How do you say hubieras planchado? You should have. You should have. Should have. Iron you should have. your shirt. Uh, iron your shirt. So it doesn't matter if you're using regulars or irregulars. The form of the verb is always past participle. Always. Okay, I, you... I have a uh, other other question. Yes, teacher. Christian. Yes. In in the pronunciation, I hear I hear you. Uh -huh. uh, different, but that me. Okay. But I I hear, for example, I I would have, I yes. would have, it's, and it's... I say, I would have. Yes. Okay, uh, that's a very good observation that you're paying attention to pronunciation. Could have has a contraction and the contraction of could have is could have should have oh, okay. should have would have would have but today's session i want you to understand how to construct the structure how to make the structure okay. pronunciation the contraction that's going to be discussed tomorrow so oh, okay you could have ironed your shirt you should have iron your shirt and it is recommended that people that are learning the language they should use contractions too because gringos when they speak they use a lot of contractions so you have to train your listening skills to understand contractions too 
Ah, ok. Yes. yes, Edgardo. Uh, what is the difference with the past participle? Past what? The past participle? Participle and the simple past. Ok, the simple past, you use it um, with the, the, the past form of the verb, you use it in the simple past tense. Me quebré la pierna, I broke my leg. Te envié el mensaje, I sent you the message. Compré un teléfono, I bought a cell phone. So when you are confirming information in the simple past form, the form of the verb is in, past, is in the simple past. Now, when you're using past models, then you use the past participle form. Jose Edgardo, do you see the difference? Mm -hmm. I, I, I guess, yes. Uh, in Spanish, le, le, uh, yo, yo creo que, que, your your que, audio is not too clear. Ah, okay. Eh, ahora sí. No. Ok, speak, ya. Yeah. Sí, ok. Entonces, yo creo que eh, cuando el principio se, se ocupa el verbo pasado, pero se le antepone el have antes. Y eso ya lo convierte en pasado participio. No, no sé si es así. Ok, give me a second, because I'm having problems to understand what you're saying. Ok, I broke my leg. Can you see the chat? Yes, I broke my leg. Okay, uh -huh. me, me quebré la pierna. Uh -huh. That is simple past. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. uh, imagine that your friend has an accident and mm -hmm. then you say, te pudiste haber quebrado la pierna. So you said, mm -hmm. you could have broken your leg. So, te pudiste haber quebrado tu pierna. So, if you compare this with the yellow part, it is exactly the same. So, you use model plus have plus the past participle of the verb. So, broken I broke my leg. I broke my leg. Me quebré la pierna. Y en broken is the past participle. Particle. Yes. Particle. Past participle. Yes. So if you go to Google, you put a list of verbs in the present, past, and past participle, it will give you a list with different options. Mm. How do you say ver? Watch. Uh, uh, or. No, I don't remember see. The, the other see. verb. See, ah, see. Mm -hmm. What is the past tense of C? So. So. No. So. Mm -hmm. And the past participle? Sin. Sin. Mm -hmm. Sin. So, okay. when, when you're using the simple past, you use so. So. When mm -hmm. you are using uh, other forms, including models in past, you will say sin. So, you mm -hmm. will say le hubiera visto la reacción. Le mm -hmm. hubieras visto la reacción. You should have seen his reaction. You mm -hmm. should have seen his reaction. So, okay. so this is a, a, a very general uh, explanation of how these topics work. So uh, mm -hmm. but whenever you have the chance to practice, uh, Please do it because practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Okay. Any, any other comments or questions? Room six? No? No, teacher. Okay, good. Take your medicine. Take your medicine. Ladies, do you have any questions? Um, only what, um, the, for 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 the,
have the derogative for yes. uh, you change the position? Exactly. You use exactly the like same the structure, others. but you change the position of the words. Okay. So you change the the model. Uh, it depends what you're saying. ¿Qué hubiera hecho mm -hmm. usted? Let me write that question. What would mm -hmm. you have done? Do you see the chat? Yes, I see. What would you have done? ¿Qué habría hecho usted? Mm -hmm. So, once again, uh, the structure is the same if it's positive, negative, or question. But the, the, the position of the words will come in different places. What would you have done? Okay. What would you have done? Mm. So, how would you say, ¿Dónde habría ido usted? Um, where uh -huh. will who? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Who where you have who been? been? Gun. Gun. Go, go, go went gone. gone. Go went gone. So where would you have gone? Donde habría ido usted? Where would you go? Where would you have gone? Where would you have Where gone? Where would you have gone? Yes. Would you have gone? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where would you have gone? Okay. Any other questions or comments? No. Okay. So let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right, um, just let me check the attendance for the ones that were absent. Um, what's this here? I had it over here. Magdalena, Wendy, are you here, Wendy? No. Mercy, are you here? No. And Rocio, are you here? Okay. So let me make a, a, a parenthesis. Did you receive an email um, from Inglés Corporativo? No, teacher. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yes, I have. Okay, what was the information, Christian? Um, with the information is uh, with the, the future, the next module. Okay. Okay, did they mention anything about evaluation, evaluating the course, evaluating your teacher? Oh, uh, no, not yet. Not yet, okay, all right, good. Um, so I'm sure that you guys will receive uh, that information uh, next week because we finish next week. And about your attendance, um, INSAFOR measures your attendance according to the number of minutes that you are present. So if you incorporate to the class late, that will not give you um, 120 minutes, it will give you less. So at the end, you have to, you must have a specific amount of minutes under your name. So try to incorporate at eight o'clock and try to stay connected until 10 o'clock so it doesn't affect you 
uh, it doesn't affect your attendance at the end. Okay, um, any questions or comments? No? Okay, uh, let's go back to the class. Um, any questions about models in past? Teacher. Yes, sir. Este, nosotros estábamos armando uh, como las, las oraciones en pasado, ¿verdad? Yes, sir. Este, pero, va, digamos, estábamos hablando con, con, con quién estamos, con Fernando, creo que estamos hablando, no, con quién estamos hablando, con Cristian estamos hablando, de que él quería decir, de que él quería ver, convertirse en jugador de, de fútbol. Ok. Él decía, I could have become in a soccer player. Me pude haber convertido en, en jugador de fútbol. Yes. Ah, estaba confundido si esa oración estaba como en pasado o como en futuro. De yo pude haber sido. No, o, that's, that's o, past. That is past. Yeah. So, for example, you said, I could have become a professional soccer player, but I went to another country, for example. Uh, so, the, the structure is good. I could have become a professional soccer player. Ah, okay, gracias. Okay, good. Anybody else has any comments or questions? Me, teacher. Yes. Uh, when, when you use would, I think in the sentence you use but. I don't know is correct. Uh, you can use it mm -hmm. including but, but you can also omit it. So, for example, um, te pude haber llamado. I could have called you. I could have called you. Or you say would. 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 In would. Mm -hmm. Yo te habría llamado. And I finish the sentence there. I would have called you. Entonces se podría decir, I would have called you, but I don't have your number. I would have called you. Yo te habría llamado, pero no tengo tu número. Exactly. Yes. Mm, okay. Okay. Yes, you can. Yes. Yes. Sería lo mismo con cool. I could yes. have called you. Yes. But if you analyze, yo te habría llamado, yo te pude haber llamado. So it's, 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 the, the message is similar, but it's, but it's different. Which is the difference in, between in possibility and, ¿cuál es la otra? Hypothetical situation. Okay, a possibility is when you're saying, me pudiste haber llamado, te pudiste haber lastimado, eh, pude haber ganado. Those are possibilities. Now, when you're talking about hypothetical situations, is yo te habría llamado, yo te habría ayudado, yo me habría quedado. So when you're talking about hypothetical things, the action will never happen and it didn't happen. You so would have been the mother of my kids. You would have been the mother of my kids, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so when you're talking about possibilities, you use may, might, and could for possibilities. Uh -huh. Si es hipotético, you use would. Mm -hmm. Como el Okay, so Samuel's example, you would have been the mother of my kids when he's talking to his ex. Tú hubieras sido la mamá de mis hijos. That is hypothetical. Pero no quiso, okay. okay, so that is, that is, that is the example uh, that he uses. So, hubiera sido la mamá de mis hijos. So that means that this person has another person, she has a family or whatever. So Samuel's sentence is hypothetical. Okay. Yes. And, and right now, maybe the explanation, maybe the exercises, they sound a little bit confusing or complicated, but as you start practicing more and more and more, um, you get used to it. So how frequent, let me ask you this, when you're talking Spanish, how frequent do you use this topic? Me hubiera ido, no te hubiera dicho, me hubiera quedado. So the same sequence, the same frequency 
that you use them in Spanish, you use exactly the same frequency in English. So maybe it's not a topic that you use every day, but you use it when you least expect it. You use it, you use it, it these uh, models daily. It, it depends on your, on, on, on what your occupation or profession is. For example, I, I, I work in a bakery, so I always have to, to talk with a client okay. uh, or a customer. So I usually say when they, for example, I get late for, 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 uh, for the customer, for okay. the, the meat. So they always tell me, ah, you, you should have been uh, uh, here uh, earlier. Exactly. You uh, should have been here earlier. Yes. Entonces, se, se, se usa como para ese tipo de casos. Exactly. You're talking about something that is always connected to the past tense. Sometimes positive, sometimes negative. But it's always connected to the past. O sea que si hablamos de ese, de, de yo debería haber estado ahí más temprano, este, también si fuera en pasado, sería I shouldn't. I shouldn't have been there earlier. Exactly. No, no hubiera llegado temprano. Or hubiera llegado temprano. So it can be positive or negative. Pero la, la oración I shouldn't have been there earlier. Eh, it's, sería it's, it's good. No debía haber estado ahí más temprano. Ah, ok, ok. Yeah. So that's why I told you guys that uh, when you when you are making negative questions, the auxiliary goes negative. The auxiliary goes negative. So I shouldn't have gone there earlier. How do you say no hubiera ido? How do you say that in English? No hubiera ido. I couldn't go. I couldn't go. I couldn't go is like, uh, no, de, no, no, pude no, ir. no hubiera ido. I, I wouldn't. shouldn't, I wouldn't. I I shouldn't no. have gone. I, I shouldn't should. have gone. No hubiera ido. Uh, like a recommendation. Okay. Okay, so go to page 29 and do exercises two and three. Let me look for the for the book. Page 29, parts two and three. Teacher, como dijo que sería, no debería haber ido. I shouldn't I have. I shouldn't have gone. I shouldn't have gone. Yes. Y I como yo le estaba diciendo, I shouldn't have been. No hubiera estado ahí. I shouldn't have been there. Y, y el otro, I shouldn't, I have, shouldn't gone. have gone. So the, no the, the only difference is the verb that you're using. No debía estar ahí, no debía haber ido. Pero es lo mismo. I should have gone. Yeah. I should have. Gone. Yeah, yeah. So if uh, many times you can use different models, and the message will be exactly the same. Uh, okay, okay. Yep. Thanks. So let me. Um... Okay. So we only have like seven more minutes. Please practice this conversation. Where's Mario? He's late for his shift. Mario, goodness, I got a call that he's very sick. I should have told you earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. So where's Mario? He's late for his shift. How do you say this in Spanish? Eh, ¿Dónde está Mario? Él está tarde para su turno. Okay. What about the other one? Mario, goodness, I got a call that he's very sick. I should have told you earlier. How do you say that one? I should have told you earlier. 
Anybody. Debería haberle dicho más temprano. Debía haberle dicho más temprano. He should have called me. He should have called me. Él debió haberme llamado a mí. Ajá. Uh -huh. And the other one, I could have found a substitute. Pude haber ah. encontrado un sustituto ahora. Pude haber ahora. encontrado un sustituto para ahora. Yes. So, uh, let me send you back. Practice this conversation real quick. Earlier, <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> mm -hmm. I should have told you earlier. He could have called me directly. Yeah. If he, he should have tired me. No, I see, I see. Di directly. Uh, directly, directly, if he had called, uh, called, ¿cómo se dice? Called, 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 to my phone. Very sick. I should have told you early. Don't worry, he should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a suit earlier. Don't worry. He should have called me directly. If he had called to my phone, I could have found a substitute by now. I have time this afternoon. Let me cover for him. Okay. <laughs> Any questions so far? I, no. I I follow confused teacher <laughs> okay. with, with different uh, concepts. Uh -huh. I, uh, concept de de cómo diferenciar posibilidad de hipótesis. Okay, uh -huh. it's 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 exactly the same way that you use it in Spanish. Uh, uh -huh. So you said, uh, "Me pudiste haber dado un raite." That's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. when you say, uh, ella me habría dado un raite, pero iba para otro lado. That is mm -hmm. hypothetical. Mm -hmm. Ella yeah. me habría dado. Yo lo habría ayudado. That is hypothetical. Mm -hmm. So, okay. uh, mm -hmm. it, it, like I said, it takes practice uh, to completely understand how this topic works. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. We finished, teacher. You're finished. Okay. We almost go back to the main session. This is almost. Let me see this here. Hold on. Okay. Hello, ladies. Hello, teacher. Did you finish practicing? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, so I think it's time to go back to the main session. Did you finish, ladies? Yes, we finished. All right. We finished. All right, let's go back.
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think that this has been um, the topic where you guys have to pay extra attention so you can completely understand how it works. Uh, tomorrow I will bring other exercises so we can practice more. Are there any questions or comments about today? No. I have a comment. Maybe, maybe, maybe not, not, but I, I only say that I want to thank you because you explained the subject very well. So I think it was necessary to see the subject in the present teacher because, well, I in fact, I uh, understand in present models is very, is very difficult. So in the past, it was more difficult. Right, right. And that's why I, I wanted to make sure that everybody understood how the models work in a general form. So we will have more practice tomorrow. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. But it was good to learn some grammar. Okay, very good. So like I said, tomorrow I will bring additional exercises. And if you have the time to read uh, tomorrow during the day, do it so you guys are uh, more prepared when we talk about this tomorrow. Perfect. Okay. 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 All right. Have a good night. Good night, night teacher. Good night. 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 Ay, ay, ay. Ay, I'm going to look for an auto. Quítenme esto, por favor. <laughs> Hablemos poco, pero que sea oro, va. Oh, my God. Everyone. See you later.